would you say if I told you that you could build your resume, you could enhance your networking and communication skills, you could develop a team, experience satisfaction, and find joy? What would that be worth to you? Some programs charge a lot of money to provide books, online classes, and tutorials to provide you with these benefits. But I want to let you in on a little secret. You can have all of these things, and you never actually have to spend a dime. So how? It's simple. Become a volunteer, and you can have all of these rewards. The best part, though, is that you will be making a difference in the lives of others by doing so. Let me tell you about an average client of the food bank. She's 36 years old, the single mother of five children, all under the age of 13. Here's the kicker. You may actually know her. Her name is Kim, and she's a nurse. That's right. She works full time, and she has benefits. But it's tough sometimes. It's tough when you're a single parent household, or when only one person in your household is employed. It's tough because you may have to decide between paying all of your bills, and you may not have left, enough left over afterward to pay for your grocery costs. More than half of the households that we serve have one employed adult in them. It's a surprising fact. Kim comes to our central pantry every few months to pick up fresh fruits and vegetables to supplement what she can afford at the grocery store. Feeding her family nutritious foods is really important to Kim because she knows that that leads to a healthy lifestyle. And let's face it, good for you food is expensive, but fast food, junk food is cheap, right? The food bank is conscientious about that too, by the way. So much so that in the past year, we've increased our distribution of fresh produce from 19% to 24%. And we will continue to make that a priority. Each of you in this room likely has interaction regularly with someone who lives in poverty and who struggles with hunger. People who are employed, nurses just like Kim, that friendly young man who bags your groceries at the store, the receptionist at your child's school, the mechanic who changes the oil on your car. But it could also hit closer to home. It could be a coworker or a friend or even a family member, and you just may not know it. A major illness, a job loss, an unexpected home repair, we just never know when we might be the one who struggles with hunger and doesn't know where our next meal is coming from. Hunger exists all around us. One in every six adults lives in poverty and faces food insecurity. So when I say it really is likely that you are having regular interaction with someone who faces this problem, it's true. One in every six adults. So that's why the food bank exists. We exist to aid our neighbors in need who struggle with hunger. Through sharing food, we provide them hope. Hope that they will be able to pay their electric bill and not have to worry about their grocery costs. Hope that they will be able to feed their children. Hope that their child will go to school the next day better prepared to take that test because she's not starving. Hope for people just like Kim. We provide that hope in 32 counties in central and northeast Missouri, covering roughly one third of the state and a territory of more than 18,000 square miles. We distribute food by working closely with 130 partner agencies, including pantries, soup kitchens, homeless shelters, community kitchens, youth programs, and senior centers. On average, we serve more than 104,000 people each month. Each month, we serve roughly the population of Columbia, Missouri. Helping children is also a big part of who we are and what we do. We help feed children by working with more than 150 schools to distribute what we refer to as buddy packs. Buddy packs contain kid-friendly, nutritious food items such as entrees, grains, cereal, shelf-stable milk, fruit, and peanut butter. This food goes to children who have been identified by personnel as being at risk, typically those kids who qualify for free and reduced school lunch. 
In some cases, buddy packs are the only form of nutrition that a child has when they're not in school. Here's the grim reality. One in every five children living in the state of Missouri struggles with hunger. And it's typically through no fault of their own. The food bank distributes 7,500 buddy packs each week, or 30,000 buddy packs per month, to assist these children. The estimated cost to provide buddy packs for this academic year is more than $1.35 million, and yet we are meeting only 13% of the need. Just as I shared how likely it is that you are regularly interacting with someone who faces hunger, your son or your granddaughter or your niece is likely sitting next to someone in class who faces that same reality. In 2015, the food bank acquired and distributed 31.4 million pounds of food. We turned our warehouse over 20.4 times in the span of just 52 weeks. Our 57 employees work tirelessly and passionately on behalf of, their mission, of our mission, and they truly are the finest team I have ever had the pleasure of working with. But our fantastic team cannot do this work alone. 57 people literally cannot run an organization that provides food to 104,000 people each month. So that's where our volunteers come in. The support of volunteers who share their time, talent, and treasure with the food bank, it's absolutely vital to our success. In 2015, nearly 43,000 volunteers assisted the food bank in some capacity. These volunteers, in effect, more than doubled our workforce, saving us more than $2 million. Volunteers repackaged food, cut labels, packed buddy packs, put together senior boxes, they helped at mobile pantry sites and at summer feeding program sites. And that's just to name a few of the things that they did. And once a quarter, our younger, youngest volunteers came out to Kids Helping Kids Day, a fantastic hands-on way for children to learn about helping their community. Sports teams, scout troops, school groups, faith-based groups, civic and service organizations, corporate teams, service learning organizations, fraternities and sororities, and many others utilized a few hours at the food bank for different reasons. Some needed a hands-on service project to meet a requirement. Others saw it as a team building or professional development opportunity. And many others came just because they wanted to give back to their community. George is among the latter. He is a respected and esteemed professor emeritus who also is a respected journalist and he happens to be one of the more modest people I've ever met. He started volunteering at the food bank 14 years ago while he was still working and found he had a little bit of extra time to spare. He tells me that when he walked into the volunteer room on that first day he saw people immediately that he knew and he thought to himself he knew he had come to the right place. George is now a permanent fixture in the volunteer room. You can find him in there several mornings each week. Ask George why he is compelled to volunteer, and he will tell you a morning spent in the volunteer room leaves him feeling that he has earned his keep for at least a day. He will also tell you that he finds the work that he is serving and helping to feed hungry Missourians, in his words, terrifically satisfying. George is not the only regular. He works alongside Alice, a retired nurse originally from New York, and Carl, who, commute, who commutes 20 miles each way and apologizes in advance if he has to miss a day, and Kim, who volunteers through ACT Services, and Marion, a World War II veteran who is in the food bank volunteer room every morning of the week, no matter what the weather. George describes Marion as his hero. And the food bank staff absolutely agrees. But one in five children might think Marion is a hero too. Think about that feeling you get in the pit of your stomach when lunchtime rolls around, that growl that tells you that it's time to eat. And you probably had breakfast or at least a cup of coffee just a few hours earlier, but we're all accustomed, most of us anyway, to eating three square meals a day. 
Think about when you get busy and you work through lunch, not having time to eat. And by the time dinner rolls around, you're ravenous. But you will have access to food. Whether you stop by the store on your way home, or you go out to dinner, or you make a sandwich when you get to your house, you will have access to food. Now imagine that one child out of every five for whom the stomach growl never subsides, but just grows louder. How can he concentrate, much less take a test? How can she keep up with the other children at recess and complete homework? How can any child sleep well when they go to bed hungry? How can they grow and develop and become confident and happy and productive adults? How? These are questions that George, his friends in the volunteer room, and the rest of our 42,947 volunteers don't want children and families to have to ever ask or experience. For the children who are food insecure, their buddy packs literally are a lifeline. And they know it. Occasionally, school administrators will ask recipients what the buddy packs mean to them. And here are some of their recent comments. My buddy pack helps because we don't always have food. I worry about starving without my buddy pack. I don't care who knows I get a buddy pack. We need the food. Buddy packs make a powerful difference. Volunteers who help assemble them make a difference. We are taught to believe that nothing in life is free, but I don't think that's true. You really can build your resume, enhance your networking and communication skills. You can develop a team, you can experience satisfaction, and you can find joy, all without spending a dime. I care passionately about the food bank and the fight to end hunger. And I'm lucky because I've never known what it was like to be hungry. And I am so fortunate, too, because I actually get paid to do this work that I find noble and meaningful. So if helping feed hungry people resonates with you at all, then I invite you to join us in the fight against hunger. Give up your time as a volunteer. Utilize your talents on our behalf. Consider making a contribution. Every dollar we receive makes a difference. With our network and purchasing power, we can literally transform $1 into 15 pounds of food. You can learn more about how you can help at sharefoodbringhope.org. And I thank you deeply for your consideration. But maybe instead you are passionate about the arts, or animals, or the environment or victims of abuse, or children with special needs. The point is, find what speaks to you and challenges you and inspires you. Then figure out how you can make a difference. Because every single pair of hands has an impact. Your hands contain tremendous power. I challenge each one of you to make your own difference. Start now, today. It will cost you nothing but your time, but the rewards are tremendous, priceless even. And that is the power of making a difference. And so I ask you, what are you waiting for? Thank you.